Excuse me. Members of the civil society budget advocacy group cite the creation of districts and other public institutions as one of the causes that have increased public administration costs in Uganda. The activists suggest that the government expedites the passing of the Public Finance Bill 2012, among other interventions. We recommend merging of agencies that have duplicating roles. For example, merging Uganda Tourism Board, uh, Uganda Wildlife Authority, and the Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities. We recommend merging Uganda Investment Authority and the Uganda Export Promotion Board. We recommend merging uh, the President's Office and the State House. Let us merge these smaller, tiny, inefficient districts. For every district you merge, you know an MP is gone. For every district you merge, you know a cow is gone and all the civil servants. They also took issue with the government's proposal of letting the private sector manage agriculture as laid down in the National Budget Framework paper for the next financial year. We shall have a problem there because the private sector will only go in those areas that are profitable. So if you want to go to put a borehole in a carbon, I don't know how a private sector person is going to do that one. It is still a government responsibility. The group also criticized the government's efforts of addressing youth unemployment as inadequate. We, we believe that handouts cannot address uh, the question of youth unemployment. And, and, and in our proposal, we, we are thinking about how about government facilitating um, self-employment, a do-it-yourself do employment strategy. The National Budget Framework paper allocates 2.1 billion shillings for special needs education, which is less than 1% of the allocation stipulated in the National Disability Act. The proposed funding for special needs education in the Ministry of Education for financial year 2014-2015 stands at 0.2, 0.12%, an equivalent of only 2.6 billion. Worse still, this budget has been reduced from 2.16 billion in the last financial year, which is a, a reduction of 4.6%. NTV's efforts of getting a comment from government technocrats were futile. But the group hopes that their suggestions will be considered for adoption in the national budget of the 2014-2015 financial year. This is the right moment that the government has proposed what it intends to put in the budget for the next financial year and has also asked Parliament to input and therefore we believe that it is the right moment and opportunity to input into this budget process. The group however commends the government for increasing teachers' salaries and setting up a treasury single account for eliminating ghost teachers in their critique of the budget framework paper. Honest <laughs> Wisdom Chionga, NTV Weekend Edition. Two new Kalanga Life Infrastructure Service.